managerial accounting, process costing. We're going to be doing two different types of production reports or process cost reports. And these are both detailed in your text. And um, businesses will decide which approach they take. So they'll either do FIFO, which is first in, first out, or they'll do average costing. We're going to use problem P2 as an example. And we're going to start by doing FIFO with P2. Now whether I do average costing or FIFO, the facts stay the same. And here are the facts. It says uh, that in P2 that liquid extracts company produces a line of fruit extracts for home use in making wine, jams, jellies, pies, and meat sauces. Fruit enters the production process in pounds and the product emerges in quarts. And one pound of product in equals one quart of product out. So we've made that simple. It also says that on May 31st, 4,250 units were in process. So our beginning inventory has 4, th sorry, that's cost, 4,250 units in process. Now these units, remember we're in a production line, are at all different stages of completion because, you know, it's a continuous process, continuous assembly line. So it says on average we've assumed that these um, are, have all the materials in them and that they're 70% complete. So this beginning inventory is on average at the 70% point of completion as far as labor and overhead, but it's 100% done as far as materials. So we're going to remember 100% for materials, direct uh, materials, and for 70% for what we're going to call conversion costs. Conversion costs, or CC, is labor plus overhead. Okay, because they happen the same way. Okay, the other thing it says in here is that the direct labor costs associated with this beginning inventory includes 4,607, and that's what this number is going to total to, 4,607 is direct materials, and then the conversion cost, the labor plus the overhead, is 3,535. So if I added the cost assigned to beginning inventory, materials plus conversion, I'll get that 8142. It also states in the problem that uh, during June, 61,300 pounds of fruit were added. So that's what we started during the period. We started that many pounds. So if that many pounds came, went in, we expect that many quarts to come out, don't we? It also says that um, these costs had a uh, fruit cost 71,108. So that $71,108 is the cost of the fruit direct materials. It also says that we had direct labor costs of the month of 19,760 and we had overhead applied of 31,375. So you see where these two numbers come from as well. Now it says on June 30th, we only had 3,400 units left uh, that were still in process. All the other things um, had been processed and had transferred out. Now as far as this ending inventory is concerned, it says that we're 100% done as far as materials. And that's because when you start a unit of, of uh, product, it has all of its materials in it. And it's 50% processed as far as conversion costs. So when we look at this 3,400, it's about half done, half cooked, so to speak. Now, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out how much cost should be assigned to ending work in process, how much cost should be assigned to the units transferred out of the department. So we're going to need to figure out first how many units transferred out, and I'm going to abbreviate that TO because they go to someplace else, so transferred out. We've got to figure this out. And I bet you can because beginning plus started 
minus ending will give me how many units transferred out. And the units that were transferred out are 62,150. So whether I do average costing or FIFO, these are the facts that we will solve.